Hello YouTube, how are you guys doing today? My name is Captain Darren. My amateur radio call sign is N4VFR. Now, in today's video, I'm going to show you how I built my horizontal loop. I got this idea from a friend of mine. His name is Dom. His call sign is W4DOM. And he saw my video about my inverted L on the DX Commander. If you haven't seen that video, I'll leave the link above. And he saw how my roof was laid out. And he said, hey, Captain Darren, why don't you put a 80 meter horizontal loop on the roof? And I got to thinking, yeah, let me give that a shot. I'm gonna give that a try. And, and uh, first, let me measure the, the circumference around the roof. And I did that last week and it's approximately 154 feet around okay it's not a perfect rectangle so i just got a, a an approximate length i did some research with the the horizontal loop for 80 meters uh, the formula is uh, 1005 divided by the frequency and that equals the length of wire that you're going to require to be utilized on your loop with 80 meters that came out to a length of 264 feet. I don't have that much space. That's a lot. So for 40 meters, uh, I'm going to center the frequency to 7.2. And that came out to about 139 feet. And uh, if I subtracted the 80 meters and the 40 meters, I come up short about 125 feet. Uh, I said scrap the 80 meters. Um, my 80 meters inverted L is working fine. And uh, I'm going to build a 40 meter horizontal loop. Another name of that is a sky loop. So that's uh, another terminology you may see on the internet, sky loop. So in this video, I'm gonna show you my setup, and my building process for this 40 meter sky loop. All right, these are uh, 10 feet poles. And I have an eyelet there on the top. And from the top, I'm gonna come down five feet. Right about here is five feet, okay? And I'm going to attach these cleats, the rope cleats on here so I can use my lines to lower and raise the uh, wire as I'm putting it up or if I need to take it down. So I'm going to show you how I put these on here on these galvanized steel poles. All right, so I got my measuring tape here. I'm going to make sure the eyelet is perpendicular to the roof. I'm just going to measure five feet from the eyelet and just mark it. It doesn't have to be precise. I'm coming down five feet so that I'm tall enough that I could actually tie the rope off. I'm currently on the roof and we are not going to use a drill. We're going to use a Phillips head and maybe a, this is a two pound hammer. I'm just going to make a pod hole right here. Okay, there's my pilot hole. And I'm gonna screw these in. Okay, now make a mark for the second hole. Okay, I see it. Do the same thing. Just a Phillips head 
two pound hammer. Just puncture a hole in the galvanized steel. See, there's the hole and I'm just going to uh, screw it down. There, nice and snug. We are located at the uh, back right quarter of the roof and I'm getting ready to drill these pilot holes for these fasteners. These are going to hold the clamps and the clamps hold the uh, one and a quarter inch or the one and a half inch um, galvanized steel pipes all right uh gotta make sure i leave room here so i can tighten it down with a wrench these nuts so just eyeballing it i'll go right here get my hammer drill going Alright, so I got the fastener in. It's uh, made for concrete. And uh, we're going to add the other two brackets. Okay, this is the right corner of the house and this bracket assembly is complete. I'm just going to put the nuts and bolts together. Let me give you an idea of how this is going to work out. We're at the uh, the roof. There's my 05 antenna. My axis, if you follow this coax or this uh, Cat5 cable, it goes into my access panel. Right now it's open down there. I'm going to feed the 4 to 1 ballon on this pole. At this corner, it's going to go up 10 feet. I'm going to put the ballon up at 10 feet, and that's pole number one. And over here, that's going to be pole number two. So let's go over there, take a look. There's my solar panel, and pole number two is right here. Again, the 05 antenna with the inverted L. I want to leave that up. If you haven't seen the video, I'll leave the link above for that. So coming from pole number two, we're going to go to the back left corner of the house over these grate. And that's going to be pole number three right here. Again, 10 feet up. This pole here is my support. It's eight feet. That's my support for the inverted L. And it ends right here. 
I think I could uh, give it more tension, but not today. And this one here, this is pole number four. This is the back right corner. We're coming back to the middle. That's the uh, Starlink satellite dish. This is going to be pole number five right here and working on my way back to the front. This is pole number six right here. And then we'll complete the 40 meter loop coming right back to the front here where I'm gonna put the four to one ballon. So that's the look of setting up the horizontal 40 meter loop or sky loop on top of a roof. I got my guy ropes. This is three millimeter antenna guying rope. And I already measured out one of the ceramic insulators. I'm going to install it on uh, the pole and see if this length is going to work. I think it's um, 23 feet long and all I did was at the end I just tied a uh, just tied a knot okay so let me uh, install that and see if this rope is long enough so I can reel up this uh, insulation and the uh, wire antenna wire Okay, we're in the shade area underneath the uh, solar panels. Okay, here's my uh, ceramic insulator. And I'm just going to tie a knot. I'm going to go like this. No, no certain knots, it's just a square knot. I want it nice and snug so that it doesn't slip out of the grooves like this. So I'm going to tie it really close to the insulator. Just like that. Okay. Now I want to take this rope and measure out 23 feet, cut it, and uh, melt the ends so they don't unravel. This is what I got so far. We're at the front corner of the house. This pole that you see here on the deck, that's gonna be the support for the four to one Ballon from Ballon Designs. They're currently backlogged uh, about five to seven days to build it. And that's a 10 feet galvanized pole. So that's where it's going to start right here. And you can see the structure already up. That's another 10 foot poles. 
all my poles are 10 foot that I'm going to use for the horizontal loop for 40 meters. Okay. So I got the the insulator on the floor, on the deck there. When it's ready to be raised, I'll raise it up there. And there's the remainder two in the back. This pole right here, that's my inverted L. Okay, on the zero five antenna. Here's the other back pole on the backyard. I decided to put another pole right here for support so it doesn't sag too much. I'm no longer using this dish here. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a, um, what do you call those? A loop, loop antenna, a receiving loop antenna with a rotator. That's for the future. And this is the last pole. So there's six supporting poles for this 40 meter horizontal loop. I was not able to completely finish the video because I don't have all the necessary parts to, to complete this project. That's why I have this part one of two video. What I'm waiting on is the mounting bracket for the 41 ballon that's gonna be mounted on top of the 10 foot pole and also the one-to-one -one ballon, and that ballon will be mounted in the shack, connected to an LMR 400, and I think that's gonna be like a 35-foot run. And I need to also measure and cut the 40-meter horizontal loop full-wave wire. I'll just do that once I have all my materials gathered together. Next, I'm going to, once it's all completed and put together in my next video, part two of two. We will compare the receive signal between the 0, 5, 27 foot inverted L and the 40 meter horizontal loop. So stay tuned for that video. Well, thank you for watching my video. My name is Captain Darren. My amateur radio call sign is N4VFR. Hey, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider to subscribe. It motivates me to make more videos for you guys. Until next time, 73s and have a great day.